Welcome to the Poway Real Estate Market Report. We're going to look at some data and then we'll put it in context. So this is closed sales in San Diego. We are doing last month, well, for March, this is April now, we did 49 sales. Active listings, we did 31. So uh, that's why we go to the month supply, which is 0.6 month supply. That's an incredible, that's all-time lows here, uh, an incredible seller's market. Um, now, I've been doing this for a long time. I used to say a balanced market was supposed to be between six and nine months, maybe eight and ten months, somewhere in there. And as homes get more expensive, they were on the market longer, so maybe a balanced market was a little higher there. But where there was good selection, there was good turnover. Um, now, all the buyers have been educated to um, jump on the homes they like quickly, be ready, be prepared, and snap them up, and maybe even have to pay a little bit over. Um, what is a, a what is a five, almost ten year trend down in days on market? I mean, it means it, it means the current selling patterns that real estate agents use. The traditional real estate agents have been doing a disservice to their sellers. And we're going to get that in other videos. But you know, if in this kind of market, you don't sell to the one of the first two or three offers that are made. You take them in for a while. You negotiate. You find the strongest, most flexible buyer so that you can buy another home. I know many homes are not turning over because buyers are like, if I sell my home, I'm not gonna be able to buy a home or I'll, or like a relative of mine, they'll pay more for an inferior home and they finally get one a year later. It might've been two years later, but it was an inferior home and they paid more. So that's every, that's rightly everyone's major concern. So, you know, we're here. If you go to favoriterealestate.com and give me a call, I'm putting together a video series where I'm gonna explain how to optimize the sell side, how to optimize the buy side. The whole point is to be a contingent seller and a non-contingent or very, as as little, as low, a, no, as least contingent a buyer as possible. Contingent seller, non-contingent buyer is your goal in these transactions and it can be done if you do it properly. I don't know why it's not being done more, but we're going to be discussing it very frequently coming forward. So, um, price per square foot, you're probably wondering about, um, well, days on market, five, um, which is just amazing. And, and the stats for San Diego market-wide is very similar almost everywhere until you get to the very expensive properties. Um, price per square foot, this is the average, this is the median, and um, percent original price. Um, they're going over. Uh, not surprising with five days on market, right? Um, now, I will say this. When realtors are bragging that they sell for more than their ask, and they sell in two or three days, um, they've done it wrong, in my opinion, for mo most of the time. Not every time. I'm never speaking absolutes. I'm an attorney. But most likely, they're doing it wrong for their buyers. It's great for the realtors. I mean, for their sellers. It's great for the realtors. It's somewhat great for the buyers, even though they are paying more than... There's tremendous demand. Um, when you're selling in five days or less, you've, you've, you've probably done it wrong unless you have a really, 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 unless you just have a number and you don't care that you're getting max value. Uh, so um, we're going to, I have videos out there already on how to do it properly, but I'm going to make it more succinct, put it together in series, and you can access it series. Right now, you'll have to go to favoritrealestate.com, but I am going to use favoritrealestate.net for my content marketing to help buyers and sellers. Uh, ideally, you can work with us in San Diego, Orange County, or out in the desert where uh, my agents are. I'm in San Diego. Um, or we can refer you to the right realtors for you, experienced realtors that are willing to use the proper strategies for the market, for the buyers and the sellers. Um, so that's it for the Poway Real Estate Market Report for April. Um, just a little hint. Um, and you can do this on a lot of websites. This is mine, favoritrealestate.com. You can see I've been talking about solar homes. For years, I haven't changed the front page because these homes update themselves automatically. But I think one of the things, just flat out most value in the market right now, is to go into your search and type in a keyword search, which most websites allow you to do. And you type in solar. Now, and I'll type in, let's say Poway. And no, we'll, we'll type in Rancho Bernardo this time, which is right next to Poway. Rancho Bernardo. And now I'll hit search because solar is still there. And now these homes, if we find any, 
Well, that was strange. Um, let me go back. Let's try Poway. Maybe my software didn't like limiting to Rancho Bernardo instead of the zip. Um, so here's 26 homes for sale in Poway. I didn't type in solar, I'm willing to bet. Um, keyword to solar. Apply. Yeah, because that seemed like a lot. Uh, so there's nine homes. And what this keyword search means that in, let's pick out, let's pick this one. In the agent's remarks, they should say something like owned solar or solar on the roof. Um, solar hot water heater with gas and electric backup. Um, which is nice, but that's not as significant a savings as um, getting solar free and clear. So let's look for one that might say owned solar. And I'll, uh, one way to do it is also like here. Now, you can see the solar on the front. Not, solar's not always going to be in the front picture because the, the solar guy set it up to avoid trees overhang and in the direction uh, where they're going to be facing the sun the most. Um, so here's own solar. To me, this is most likely going to result in a big savings, a significant savings for the buyer. Because, for instance, let's look at my situation. Um, I bought my home in Poway in 2013 for about 650000 It's now worth, we've, we've done some improvements. We improved the backyard. It's now worth between one5 and $1.9 probably. Um, and it has solar on the roof. Now, that solar saves us five $600 a month in electricity, um, which is the equivalent of like a $100,000 mortgage. Um, so right there, that's like a 5 6 7% savings for a lot of people. Um, and you would want to do the numbers for your family, your usage, the area, and the rates. But the point is getting own solar, you, you get, you, you don't, you're not paying off. I'm not going to sell my home for 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 million dollars and say, by the way, I need to pay off my solar loan. I'm going to transfer that to you in escrow. You're going to owe us another $18,000 or 15 or 14, whatever I still owe. Cause I had a 12 year loan on the panels. Um, it's just going to go free and clear to the buyer. The buyer is going to instantly walk into a, $500 a month savings or more for most users, I would think. And they're going to get it for as long as those panels are supposed to last. They're supposed to last 15 to 20 more years. Um, so that's to some buyers who are going to take out a loan for the property. That's the equivalent of saving the, the equivalent of $100,000 worth of mortgage. So um, there are some nuances to buying and selling solar homes most agents do not have them most of them are in part of big brokerages that don't want them to make any claims and so they try not to do anything and they just call it a benefit and they throw it in with the house uh, which is a good thing for buyers it's a bad thing for sellers so if you are buying or selling a solar home you definitely need to talk with an experienced agent who knows how to sell buy, buy and sell solar homes and has has the uh I'm an, I'm an attorney, so I'm not afraid of making disclosures. I, I know what disclosures can be made. I know it can hurt people. So, we're, you know, if you're a seller, we're going to help you disclose the right way so you get some of your solar panels back if they're recent. Um, obviously, if you owe oh, next to nothing, you're not going to worry about trying to recover that on a sale. You're just going to talk to the buyers about why they're a great feature and maybe get more for your home. Uh, and buyers, since sellers aren't doing that, they represent a, a potentially great deal for you. Um, once again, John McConnell, I'm an attorney and a real estate broker, uh, favoritrealestate.com, and someday soon, favoritrealestate.net will have my content, my videos, and things like that. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.